Well, I'm sitting here in my office, and this is where I create all of my YouTube channel content. And this is my mid-2018 MacBook Pro. Uh, it has two terabytes of internal storage. 500 gigabytes of that is dedicated to Windows, and 1.5 terabytes is dedicated to the Mac OS operating system. I've been holding out upgrading the operating system on this machine for quite some time. I think it's time to update. This is still running Catalina and I'm going to be updating it to Sonoma. In order to do that safely, I have been looking for a solid state external portable drive so that I can back up my machine to Time Machine. And so I recently purchased this external drive. So this is a SanDisk professional four terabyte drive. It's kind of a aluminum enclosure with kind of the synthetic rubber on the back. It feels pretty nice. So it comes with a little tiny USB-C cable, but it's a Thunderbolt 3. And that will be able to achieve around uh, the advertised 3000 megabits per second transfer speeds. So. We'll do a disk test just to see if that actually is achievable. Uh, we'll see about that. So I'll just go ahead and connect my sand disk here. So right over here is the icon for the drive. According to the website of SanDisk, is compatible with Time Machine. And here you are able to select a disk. So I've already taken my backup yesterday. 600 megabytes has already been used for the first backup yesterday. So I've got a remaining 3.43 terabytes. Let's run a speed test. I'm going to open the drive and create a new folder really quick. And I'm just gonna call it speed test. And I should have read and write permissions to that folder since I just created it. So let's go back to the Blackmagic application. Go to select target drive. Speed test is what we're gonna be using. Now if I click open, let's do a one gigabyte stress test and let's go ahead and click start. So immediately I'm already seeing 2,348 megabits per second write and 2,333 read. So here's the Pro G40 SSD, it's four terabytes. If you go down to the specs, here it says, speeds up to 3,000 megabits per second read and 2,500 megabits per second write. But it says so via the Thunderbolt 3, cable. So if you want to know the specs of your MacBook, you can actually go search for the name of your MacBook. I usually type in mid 2018 MacBook Pro and then type specs and you will receive a link that you can go to from the Apple website that shows you all the specifications for that particular model of the MacBook Pro. You can see a, a big long list of like the display resolution, the finish colors that were available at the time, the processors. And here, this is important to note, this particular uh, MacBook Pro has four USB-C ports, but here it tells you the specification for those ports. It says, it has four Thunderbolt 3 USB-C ports that supports uh, charging and display port Thunderbolt up to 40 gigabits per second and the USB 3.1 Gen 2 up to 10 gigabits. So this drive is compatible with those two connections and those theoretical speeds, although the actual speeds that you get with this are closer to 3,000 and 2,500. So we are achieving uh, pretty close to the advertised speed, so I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna eject this portable drive real quick. I'm just gonna right click on the drive and say eject. So now it should be safe to unplug. I am now going to go ahead and update Catalina to Sonoma. 
which is the latest operating system. I'm just gonna go to the Apple logo about this Mac. And so here's the button for software update. Click that. And here we can see the Mac OS Sonoma is available. So I'm going to click on upgrade now. And now it's going through the process of updating. So it's estimating about 35 minutes remaining. So we're getting close to having downloaded the Sonoma operating system. It says it's 12.86 gigabytes for the download. And it shows that it's about done downloading. All right, so we've got everything downloaded and now it's beginning the install. Looks like it's just checking for any last minute updates. And now we should be able to proceed with the installation of Sonoma. Go ahead and agree to the license. And I'll select the Macintosh HD, which is the default hard drive inside of the MacBook Pro. And here I need to provide my password. So now it's telling me it has about 18 minutes remaining. So I'm just gonna let this run and update you in just a few minutes. Now it's ready to restart. I'm just gonna go ahead and click this button to speed that up. All right, so here it's telling me it's gonna be about 29 more minutes to do this part. So I'm just going to skip ahead through some of this. About nine minutes remaining. I think it's gonna take a little bit less than that, but saw the screen flash and we have the touch bar showing up. I believe this is the last progress bar and we have less than one minute remaining for this to complete. And we should be able to see the Sonoma operating system launch in just a few seconds. All right. We are seeing our first screen here. Looks very nice. It's nice video. I'll go ahead and enter my password. That's going to ask me about analytics. So I just want to make sure that my applications are good to go. I'm going to check on Final Cut. So here it's showing a circle icon with a slash through it, which means that it's currently not going to be able to run. So now that I've updated the operating system, I need to update the Final Cut Pro app. Here it's checking for updates and it does say pro video formats are available. So I'm going to update now. And it's saying everything is up to date. Let's go ahead and check that again. Let's go ahead and launch Final Cut and see if it's telling us anything. So here it says in order to use Final Cut Pro, you need to update to the latest version. I'm going to launch the App Store. It's going to take me to the page to download Final Cut Pro and I see an update button. So I'm going to let this update and then I'll check back in just a few minutes. So Final Cut Pro has just finished updating and I can go ahead and open that if I'd like to. But I also see that there's 13 other application updates in the App Store. So I'm going to go ahead and go down to updates so I've got a few Apple applications as well as some third-party applications that I have updates for. I'm going to go ahead and just update all of them. All right, I've updated all of my Apple applications. And now we should be able to try to open Final Cut Pro. All right, so it's telling me about some new features. 
So this dialog says the library, my library, must be updated to work with this version of Final Cut Pro. Updated libraries can't be opened in earlier versions of Final Cut Pro, and so to update the library, click Update. I'll go ahead and do that. And I think I had two or three different libraries, one for HDR video, one for SDR video. And I might have had one for uh, shorts as well for YouTube. Let's go ahead and update this HDR library. And here's my shorts library as well. All right, so I've already got part of a, a video here for an EcoFlow issue that I've had. Um, since this is the only video that I have currently that's ready to render, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this as a test. I'm just gonna go to File, Send to Compressor, and a new batch. That should launch Compressor. And again, it's gonna tell me about some new features. Um, so normally when I have a video ready in a batch, I just drag and drop my settings onto the video. So for YouTube and Facebook, let's go here and it says up to 4K. I'm just gonna drag and drop that onto the video. And if you want to tweak any settings, we'll bring up that panel by clicking this button. I'm just going to leave the settings as they are. And I'm going to go ahead and start this batch. So this is going to take a few minutes. So compressor just finished. It took about 16 minutes to render. And the file was a 10 minute and 20 second video. So let's go ahead and close compressor and take a look at our movie folder and here's the video go ahead and bring the volume all the way down and looks like it's playing just fine Future Mike here. I'm just sitting in my office and I've been playing around with Sonoma for about a couple of weeks now and really haven't had any issues. And I really am enjoying these video kind of wallpapers. They look really nice. I am now looking forward to creating more content for you guys since I have this hurdle out of the way. Please leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you want to see future content. As always, thanks for watching the video and tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.